Hi, I'm a professional organizer and these are my sorting bins. Stop right there. Welcome to another redemption series of a video that has gone viral but received some criticism. I really enjoy using these criticisms as an opportunity for a teaching moment. This video talks about using a relocate bin during an organizing project so that you don't get distracted putting little things away in other rooms. There are a lot of key rules to this and so that it does not become a doom box and that's what I want to address. There was a great divide in the comments amongst the neurodivergent folks. Some are saying a relocate bin helps them stay focused. And then some are saying it creates a doom box. Let's dive into why it's becoming a doom box. It depends on your habits, it depends on your brain process, but it also depends on what your organizing systems are. As a neurodivergent person myself, I need things to be able to go away in one to two steps. Anything more than that, I'm gonna have trouble keeping up and keeping them tidy. My guess that most doom boxes create too many decisions because the items that are going away are not obvious and easy and within one to two steps. I think if a relocate bin fills up with too many items, most people would get overwhelmed. So my recommendation for those folks feeling overwhelmed or worried about being a doom box is only let five or 10 items accumulate, then go relocate and keep up with that so it doesn't get overwhelming. Happy organizing.